Let's do some math for fun, and this is for infinite series. And this one is different because we are going to find the condition on B so that the series converges. And look at this. We have the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, B as the base, and we raise this to the power of ln n. This is crazy, right? The power here is the natural log of n. We don't know about this, right? Well, imagine if the power is only n, the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, b to the nth power. That's pretty much the geometric series, and we know how to deal with that much better. For this one, we don't know it too well, and hopefully we can make some connection between the things that we know from the past and this new thing. And hopefully you can find all the possible values for b to make that convergent. So let's make some observation first. The trouble is, of course, the power. This is ln n, and we have to plug in n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on into this n right here, right? Okay, so first, let's ask ourselves. When n is equal to 1, we plug in 1 into this n, we will have ln 1. ln 1 is 0. All right, when we have the 0 for the power, b is the base b cannot be 0. Keep in mind, 0 to the 0's power is undefined, right? So b cannot be 0 neither. So let me just write down a note right here. First, b cannot be 0. Otherwise, if b is 0, we will take that to the ln. And when n is equal to 1, you see ln 1 is 0. And 0 to the 0's power, this is no good. It's undefined, right? So b cannot be 0. That's the first condition. And secondly, let's say when n is equal to 2, then we will have ln 2 for the power. And remember that ln2 is an irrational number. ln2 is about 0 0.693 something something. But it's irrational. Well, with that being said, if you have a negative for the base, and you take this raised to an irrational power, guess what? This is also undefined. So what does this mean? This tells us that b cannot be a negative number. So it implies that b has to be greater than 0. And b cannot be exactly 0 because we just mentioned it earlier. So all in all, we are making progress, right? b has to be positive. All right, so as I said, we are making some progress. And now let me just write down a few more things that we know from the past, OK? All right, as I mentioned it earlier, we mentioned it about the geometry series. And that's the case when the power is just an n. So let me write that down. We know that the sum of n goes from 1 to infinity if you have b to the n's power. This is a geometry series. This converges if the absolute value of b is less than 1, right? OK. Can we build out any connection between this one and that one? Well, the base match, right? However, that's what we're trying to find out. What's the b? Uh, the power's n right here. This is ln n. It seems that there's nothing for me to solve, right? So I'm not sure if I can use this. I know this is an easy statement, right? Um, but I also know that there's another easy statement. Well, if you look at another series, the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, another easier situation is when we have 1 over n to the p power. Yes, the p series. This right here converges if p is greater than 1, right? The p-series. Hmm, maybe I can utilize this. In that case, I will have to rewrite this expression right here, b to the ln n power, into this form, OK? I want to have the n as the base in the denominator, and then the power is the p, and hopefully I can use this condition. And earlier this one, I'm not sure if I can use it or not. OK, so as I said, these are the two things that we know. And once again, let's come back to the original series. The trouble is we have the natural log of n for the power, and that's not preferred, right? Hmm. Usually, when we have ln, we want to have e to help us out, right? Because e and ln will cancel each other out. And for the base b, in fact, we can force it to become some kind of ln and e together. And let me write it down for you guys as well. So 
One way to rewrite B is we can look at B as ln of e to the b's power. Can we? Yes, because ln and e, they cancel each other out, and the b is just the speed, right? However, I'm not going to use this right here, because if I want to plug in this, for this b, we will have an ln as the base, and then raise that to another ln power. I don't think that's good. However, I have another statement I can write it down for you guys. If I look at b as e as the base, and we take this raised to the ln b's power. Once again, e and ln, they will cancel each other out, we will get the b back. Let me plug in this expression into this b here, and you'll see why. This is much better to use. Alright, so now, right here is just going to be the, the sigma where n goes from 1 to infinity. For this b, I'm going to rewrite it in this form right here. So let me open the parentheses. B is the same thing as saying e to the ln b, and then we still have the power ln n, okay? What can we do next? This right here is the power, right? e to this power, and then we take this raised to another power. So what can we do with the powers? We can just multiply them, right? So this is the same as saying sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, e is still the e as the base, I'm just going to multiply the powers together, and let me write the e down better. Let me write this down first for you guys. ln, n, and then we multiply by ln, b. E. You can just multiply the powers, okay? And next, I'm going to keep the ln with the e. I'll bring this out to be the power. This right here is the same as saying, sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, and I will write the e and the ln of n inside. We'll take this raised to the ln b's power. Why do we do that? Because now, you see that e to the ln n is nothing but just n for the base, right? So this is actually the same as saying the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, and inside we have just n, and we can take this raised to the ln b's power. I put on the equal sign on the side, but that, uh, it's not in the video, but yeah, they are all equal, okay? Alright, we are making some progress, because now you see, this n is a base now, and this looks kind of the same as this, right? I just have to bring this down to the denominator so I can actually use this statement here. So, let me just write this down for you guys right here. We will have uh, the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity. If I want to bring this down to the denominator, I can do that, right? 1 over n, but then I just have to rewrite the power to be a negative power. So we will have n raised to the negative ln b's power, like that. And now, this is matched with this form, isn't it? What's the p? p is just that, right? So, therefore, what do we need? This right here converges if the power is greater than 1. And the p is this, so let me write it down. p is the same as saying negative ln b, and we know this right here, we have to just set this to be greater than 1. So we set this to be greater than 1. Okay? It's great, right? And now we can just solve this inequality and then make things work. And you see, right here, b is inside of the ln, but it's okay, because as said earlier, b cannot be 0, b has to be greater than 0. So this statement is legit, right? And also, perhaps you noticed earlier, from here to here, Yes, there's another log property. Look at this. b to the ln n power is actually the same as n to the ln b power. So I can also write this down for you guys because it's kind of cool. Another log property you may not have seen it before. Nobody really mentioned it. It's like when you have a to the log whatever base of b, this is actually the same as b as the base to the log of the same whatever base right here, little b, okay, of a. And all I did right here is just pretty much a proof. Okay? 
Anyways, let's get back to this inequality. We have negative times ln b is greater than 1. So of course, let's multiply both sides by negative 1. So therefore, we have ln b, and because I'm going to multiply by negative 1, right? This becomes less than negative 1, like this, okay? And now, here is the technical part. I want to get rid of the ln. So I'm going to pretend both sides are my exponents. And I'm going to take this e to this power and e to that power. So that e and ln will cancel each other out. But the technical part is, because ln is an increasing function, okay, it goes up like this, right? When I do this step, this inequality will stay the same. So we still have less than, okay? And of course, I have the b by itself right here already. Once again, okay, the natural log function is an increasing function. So when I undo the natural log function by doing e to this power and things like that, the inequality stays, okay? And then on the right-hand side, we just have e to the negative 1. Of course, we can write this down as b is less than 1 over e. That's a condition. How cool is this? Don't forget that we also have this condition, right? b is greater than 0. So combining together, we must have the b is in between of 0 and 1 over e. And here we have it. This is the condition on b. All right, so now let me give you guys an example. So earlier we found out that b has to be in between of 0 and 1 over e in order to make this a conversion, right? So right here, let me just say, and this is just an example, let me choose b to be 1 over e squared. And notice that 1 over e squared is in fact less than 1 over e, okay? And I'm going to plug in this into this b here, and I'll show you that that series will converge. So this becomes the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, and this b, well, is that. So I'll put this down, 1 over e squared, and then we have this raised to the ln and its power, and next, I'm going to rewrite this. So we will have the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, and inside we will have e to the negative 2 power, and then we raise that to the ln and its power. And the reason I want to do this is because then I can multiply the powers, right? Therefore, we'll have the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity. e is the base, and then we can just multiply the powers. Negative 2 times ln n. And let me ask you guys, can we cancel the e and this ln right now? No. Be sure you take the negative 2 to the power here, and then you can cancel it out, okay? So you will see this is the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, e as the base, and then we have the ln, and then the n, and then the negative 2 power, like this. Yes, then you can cancel this e and that ln out. At the end, you will see that that's just the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, and we have n to the negative 2 power, right? And that's the same as 1 over n squared. And look at, this is the p, which is 2, and you know 2 is greater than 1. Therefore, it converges, right? By the p series test. How cool is this, right? Bye.